Technology. What is technology, you might ask? Technology is referred to as anything that can provide convenience in multiple aspects. Technological progress started to rise by the early 19th century. Let's go back to that century. Information and communication has become more complex, marked by wireless voice transmission, namely radio AM broadcast. Since then, the development of voiceless communication has been overgrown. Finally, in 1943, the inventors found the electronic computer. The development of technology continues to evolve and produce cellular phones as we use them today. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Gina Zdrahanani and I'm from Senior High School Antuma. On this occasion, I will tell you about how do technologies affect students in their academic life. In the 21st century we live in, various technologies have been created. In terms of education, technology has a considerable influence. As a student, of course, technological developments also have many benefits. Dengan teknologi yang canggih, pelajar memperoleh berbagai macam keuntungan. Hal ini dapat membantu meningkatkan mutu pendidikan mereka. Di era yang semakin maju, hubungan antara internet dan dunia pendidikan ibarat dua sisi mata uang yang tidak mungkin dipisahkan. Sekarang, saya akan menyampaikan dampak positif dari teknologi terhadap pelajar. First, technology can increase students' enthusiasm for learning. It is common for students to feel bored with the subject matter delivered monotonously in teaching and learning activities. With technology, educators can create alternative ways of teaching that are more interactive, for example, by showing the subject matter through more animated presentation slides or by videos that invite students to be focused more on learning. Contohnya seperti berikut. Pengajar dapat menggunakan aplikasi seperti PowerPoint atau Google Slides untuk membuat presentasi materi yang lebih menarik. Pengajar juga bisa membuat video berisi tentang penjelasan materi dan mengeditnya dengan musik atau menambahkan gambar, sehingga pelajar terdorong untuk belajar. Tentu saja, hal ini dapat meningkatkan minat belajar siswa. Furthermore, technology can help students to get information, including subject matter. Often, Students will tend to look for it through the given textbook, like this. However, now there is also another alternative by using the internet. From the internet, students can get much information needed. So, it can increase the intelligence of students. Informasi adalah keuntungan terbesar yang ditawarkan oleh internet. Terdapat banyak sekali informasi yang tersedia di internet untuk setiap mata pelajaran. Hal ini membuat para pelajar untuk lebih mudah mendapat informasi terkini mengenai subjek yang mereka minati. Pelajar dapat mencari penjelasan materi yang kurang dimengerti dari internet. Selain itu, soal-soal yang sulit bagi pelajar dapat ditemukan penyelesaiannya. Then, An essential thing in terms of education during this COVID-19 pandemic is learning media between students and teachers. This is where the role of technology is required. Schools 
use online meeting applications such as Zoom and Google Meets, and other applications to provide materials or assignment such as Google Classroom. These applications can also facilitate learning without meeting face to face. At the beginning of the pandemic, in 2020, all teaching and learning activities switch online. Dengan ciri khas, antusias, dan perkembangan yang cepat saat ini serta berkaitan dengan generasi muda, di saat pandemi COVID-19 ini mengakibatkan teknologi pendidikan merupakan solusi aktif yang tepat untuk belajar mandiri. Teknologi pendidikan menciptakan cakupan yang sangat luas saat belajar dan dapat menciptakan pembelajaran tetap berjalan baik serta mendukung pemerintah dalam upaya menjaga jarak sesuai dengan protokol kesehatan. Although there are many benefits, technology also has negative impacts. An example is that technology can reduce students' achievement. Students who were initially eager to learn later become obsessed with game and gadgets. So their learning activities decreases. Games are suitable for sharpening students' critical thinking, but playing games can negatively impact them too often. Fokus belajar menjadi berkurang karena tergantungan dengan game. Banyak pelajar yang menghabiskan waktu di warnet atau sekedar untuk bermain gawai yang e, mengakibatkan pelajar tak peduli tentang pelajaran sama sekali. Jika berkelanjutan dan tidak dihentikan, nilai pelajar di sekolah akan menurun. In the following example, Addiction to technology can lead to a loss of social skills. Students chose to play with gadgets instead of communicating with their peers. Of course, this can reduce social skills and cause students not to have friends. Namun, bisa juga pelajar menjadi pecandu game akibat kesepian. Sebagai makhluk sosial, manusia selalu berinteraksi dengan orang lain. Tidak memiliki teman bisa menjadi dasar pelajar mencari kesenangan lain, yaitu dengan bermain game. Jika sudah kecanduan dan sudah berlebihan, pelajar akan tidak memiliki teman, baik di sekolah maupun di, se di lingkungan sekitarnya. Kesepian akan menjadikan pelajar berkurang minat untuk pergi ke sekolah, sehingga akan berkurang juga minat belajarnya. In conclusion, technology can positively or negatively impact depending on how we use it. Technological development is never wrong, but how to use it can be mistaken. Students must be able to use technology wisely. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.